नहीं है to be able to host uh, President Trump once again for an exchange visit after our discussions in Brussels, Paris, and that particularly, of course, on the occasion of the 14th of uh, July 2017 and uh, my visit uh, to Washington, New York, uh, at the uh, UN General Assembly, and also because we are here to celebrate uh, the triumph of our peoples and the extraordinary solidarity uh, between us. Uh, as the oldest allies of the world. We also have a lot of uh, topics in common to uh, talk about uh, Syria, the international agenda in general, uh, Africa as well. And obviously, I'm going to share with President Trump uh, my views about the strategic capability of uh, Europe, Europe uh, taking more of a part um, within NATO, of course, uh, to defend itself, and I'm an extremely glad to be able to uh, host President Trump and uh, his uh, First Lady, and we will be dining together tonight. After a very important time in, uh, in your domestic policy, I, I do appreciate the fact that you, you came here, uh, Donald, after your visit for SCJ in 2017 and our state visit in Washington beginning of, uh, of this year. I think it's very important to celebrate our soldiers and the, the great solidarity between our two nations. And we are the best and more ancient allies. And this is what I told them, our, our, our people. Obviously, we will discuss about a lot of topics, Iran, Syria, Yemen, Africa, trade, climate, and a lot of common uh, global issues. And, and obviously, we will discuss about that, well, our, our defense cooperation, which is very important. And I, I do share President Trump's view that we need a, a much better burden sharing within NATO. And, and that's why I do believe that my proposals for um, European defense are totally consistent with that, because it means more Europe within NATO, NATO more capacity, in order to take our part of the burden. And I think it's, it's very fair and it's very important. So thanks very much, Donald, for being here. This is uh, our pleasure, and our people are very proud to have you here. And I want to thank you here today for your solidarity 100 years ago and your constant solidarity for precisely our people. Thank you. Well, I very much appreciate that, Mr. President, and we have become very good friends over the last couple of years. Uh, we have much in common in many ways, perhaps more ways than people would understand, but we are We're very much uh, similar in uh, our views. And I appreciate what you're saying about burden sharing. You know what my attitude's been, and uh, we want a strong Europe. It's very important to us to have a strong Europe, and whichever way we can do it the best and most efficient would be something that we both want. Uh, I just want to thank you uh, very much for the graciousness we were so beautifully received. We were so beautifully received last night. We look forward to spending the next uh, day and a half with you. And today and tomorrow are going to be very important. And we'll be discussing many things, not only military and uh, aid and NATO and others, but we'll also be discussing trade. And we've been discussing that for a little while. I think we've made a lot of progress. We'll see if we can uh, get it over the line, as they say. We'll see uh, what happens, but trade is very important. And uh, we're also uh, very much focused the President uh, and I on terrorism. Terrorism is a very big subject for both of us. And uh, we see what's going on in the world, and it's not a good picture. Uh, but uh, we've made a lot of progress. We've done things together that were quite bold recently, six months ago. Very bold. And uh, terrorism will be a big factor and a big uh, part of our discussion today. So I want to thank everybody for being here. And Mr. President, thank you very much. We're getting along from the standpoint of fairness, and I want it to be fair. We want to help Europe, but it has to be fair. Right now, the burden sharing has been largely on the United States, as the president will say, and he understands that. And he understands that 
Uh, the United States can only do so much uh, in fairness to the United States. So we've, uh, we're rebuilding our military. We just had approved $716 billion. The year before that, we had $700 billion. So we're almost completely rebuilding our military with the latest and the greatest. And uh, we want, we just want, we want to absolutely be there. We want to help. We want to be a part of it. But uh, different countries have to also help. That's only fair. And I think the president, we've already discussed this, and the president and I very much agree on that. I do agree. I think we work very closely together in Syria. President Trump reminds you what happened as the 13th of April this year. We work very closely together to make a, mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, a superb operation against chemical weapons. Is there. And then um, we work very closely together in Middle East, in Africa, and so on. But it's unfair to have the European security today being assured just by the United States, and we need a much better burden sharing. That's why I do believe that we need more European capacities, more European defense, in order to take this part of the burden. What President Trump has to protect or to defend one of the, one of the states of the United States, he doesn't ask France or Germany or another government of Europe to finance it. That's why I do believe that we need more investment. It's exactly what we do in France. It's the first increase in terms of budget for defense for the coming years. We will reach the 2%. But that's why I do believe that we need more. more Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.